Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Good afternoon to you and welcome back to the channel where today you join me for a test drive in a true pocket rocket. I'm visiting Mulgari where behind me you can see three of their latest project, the Icon 2 based on the Mini JCW. Now when I drove the stock factory JCW that was already a pocket rocket in its own right but these things have 280 brake horsepower so I'm going to show you the customization, the levels of bespoke detail that the Icon 2 carries and then take it out for a drive to see what it's like on the roads before we come back to take a look inside Mulgari where believe me there are plenty of awesome cars to see so let's get started Firstly, let's take a closer look at the cars. And like I said, three of them lined up here. On the right, the black car with the blue accents is the prototype car that I'm gonna be filming and walking around in more detail in any moment. After that, we have the new marketing car that's just been completed with this crazy wrap literally unveiled today, but that is pretty wild looking. And then beyond that, the first of the four customer cars that's been ordered so far in the black with the lime green accents but I'm gonna whiz straight back to the car that I'm gonna be driving to show you around it, show you the modifications that have gone into making this car. Now I'm gonna start with the visual side of things. There's a lot to talk about in terms of the mechanical side as well, but visually it is completely de-chromed, so no chrome around the front grille, around the headlights, around the belt line, or anywhere on the windows. Basically all the chrome has gone, the door handles, the whole lot. It can be repainted in any color, not just the standard mini colors, and then they add the accent pack that you can see around the car so you could opt to have the roof you get the belt line that's in black but with the accent color all the way around it the door mirrors you can see various bits of color so the calipers for example paint matched which is literally painted in the workshop right there by the way and again around the front the badges that are 3d printed with the same paint color carrying through so the icon 2 which comes only as a complete package so color wise you've got that side of it Cosmetically, you have a new carbon fiber front splitter. Now it's painted the satin black to match with the plastic parts around the wheels, but that's actually a carbon part uh, just there at the front, giving it a bit more presence and sportiness down at the bottom. Coming around to the side, we've got new wheels wearing Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires for more grip. It also has a new suspension setup, so it sits 30 millimeters lower, enhanced handling, and obviously looking a bit sportier too. I've talked about the matching calipers, but they're hooked up to brakes with new braided lines that give you a little bit more pedal feel as well. But otherwise, looking pretty good down there. And then if we come to the interior, which to do so, I'm just gonna pull the key out of my pocket, they actually make a new key. 3D printed parts, like the badges you've seen around the car, but that's the new key. I've also got a standard mini key in my pocket as well that I'm just going to fumble around to show you. You can see the difference here. Much smaller and tidier with the Icon 2 key. So let's have a little look at the inside where the car has new stitching and finishing around the seats you can see here to match the exterior so the light blue matching with the accent pack that we have on the outside as well if I lean through as on the steering wheel where you would have the car number on that little part in the center and again the accent and there's also the Mulgari logo on the dashboard dials as well which is a nice little touch so everything on that front is all really rather nice there's a new exhaust system naturally too I think compulsory little aspect and then around back, the Icon 2 badging as well. Just have a glance at the car. So, Mini JCW is always fun to start. When you jump in and get started, I imagine this one is going to be even more so. Can't really go wrong, but let's just fire it up. Hey, that is a nice little rasp it's got going on. So yes, I enjoyed the car an awful lot last time. I will. Pop it in sport mode, you get a nice red ring. And I expect this should make for a rather entertaining drive. It actually says on the screen, if I toggle this back, uh, back to normal, typical mini driving fun, and then in sport, maximum go-kart feel. <laughs> I haven't spotted that before. And then green mode would be low consumption driving fun. I like that even that's considered fun, but we will be driving, well, probably in both modes. But nonetheless, this is the Mini Icon 2 from Mulgari. I'm gonna take it out, see what it's like on the road. Now this car is the type of thing to normally take bombing around some countryside lanes. Well, 
I find myself on a dual carriageway. However, I do immediately get a sense of the character from this thing. And I'm gonna rewind a little bit back to what Mulgari do. And they started working with McLarens and supercars, and they do a lot of things with supercars still in terms of looking after them, sales, maintenance, individual bespoke projects. But this was a way of creating something fun, but within a more reachable, I suppose, audience working with the JCW. So taking this car up to 280 horsepower at what I honestly think is a pretty reasonable price point is quite an interesting way to get started, to release this. And they only do it as the full package. You can't break it apart and just have certain bits from it. But getting moving, you have the natural fun of the JCW. You can feel that all the power is down at the front though. There is no question about that. There's a lot of <laughs> that sensation, you know, I imagine it might get a bit talky if we were in the lanes, but we'll see what we can find. I'm just getting myself a little bit lost and going with the flow. Driving in the normal mode, it's not antisocially noisy. I apologize that it's quite dark because it's the end of the day, it's that time of year where unfortunately the light goes down a little bit fast on us. Oh, don't want to go into reverse by mistake. One of the things about jumping into so many different cars all the time is you uh, have to think about that kind of thing a little bit more than you might typically. But inside, it's all the JCW as we know, and I did a full video with that, and there are certain things I like. Um, I like the way this light bar works. Uh, you can see a little bit of that maybe, the way it has this <laughs> nice little crack, the uh, rev counter going around the outside. Um, you can put it into different modes and I guess take it back home, or I don't know, I'm not gonna spend too much time playing with that. However, just getting a feel for the car. It's like it's very go kart you know, it's very just pounces away, gets up and goes around the corner. Yes, you just chuck it in, it really is. I mean, it says it in the screen, it's cliche, but it's such a, a nimble little thing to start. And then you give it 280 horsepower. <laughs> I'm kind of a, a bit sad, really, that I've only got time for a, a tiny, short little test drive in here. You should just chuck it in. And there's a nice short throw on the shifter. It's a little bit clumsy going into, into place, but that's not Bulgari's fault, that's the JCW. Um, yeah, what can I tell you, really? I mean, Mini as we know it, I want it in sport mode. There we go, get the nice red. Uh... I like the little cracks from the exhaust. It's not unpleasant riding. The suspension hasn't been made desperately firm and I had to get over some bumps to get out of the dealership as well. So that wasn't wasn't too bad. And this is all built in, in house. Mulgari wanted to do it to a really high level. So in terms of the paint, in terms of the servicing, in terms of the work. So they keep it all in house. So I think that's quite cool to have that, <laughs> to have that idea and to go out and actually do it, just chuck it through the corners. <laughs> I'm sure the tyres help, the whole setup definitely helps, I haven't really got much of an opportunity here to put my foot down and actually see what the power's like, see if we can get a run out, find some countryside, <laughs> even just at slow speeds though, it's very, um, just putting the power down there on a corner, you do feel a bit of that torque going to the front, obviously. You can't get away from that if you have this much power. But I think overall, when you consider that you can make it a little bit, you, know, you can add some customization to the car for the price point, that's the bit that stands out to me. It makes it quite special, that it's, it's possible to have that and to do that and to make it. <laughs> you just want to bomb it everywhere. Literally, you just want to bomb it. But I was going to say, to, to make it like this inside a reasonable price, you know, as soon as you take, like, the class above and you want to customise a car, you know, like a, an M2 or something, you run into a lot of money very quickly. Whereas this is a lot of fun without being quite so bonkers in terms of price. So I haven't done a very good job of finding proper road to drive on yet, but I will continue exploring. I'm not gonna lie, I would have loved more opportunity to stretch the legs in here. Ooh, it's actually surprisingly quick. I mean, it should be, 280 horsepower, but that's what makes it this, this pocket rocket go-kart character, and that's what I think is really cool about a car like this, because you just drive it and yeah, you have fun. You don't necessarily stress about anything, you're just enjoying the car for what it is, and I like, 
I like bespoke and, and cu customizing a car, making it your own. And I think Icon 2s will always be an Icon 2. It will always be this, this whole package of customized mini. So I love that they're doing this project. I think that maybe there could be even more to differentiate it. You could do even more. I'm sure that's in the works in the future. Potential upgrades and whatnot that are being planned. But honestly, I think my only mistake right now is not having given myself more time to drive and enjoy this little car. Um, where should we go at this roundabout? You know what? Going round a roundabout, it just sticks around. You just keep going around just for fun. Uh, let's go this way. actually surprisingly quiet in here, even doing a high rev downshift a second. It's not making that much noise. Until you put your foot down and away you go. <laughs> oh, giggles for days. I really like it when you have a car that has an amount of power you can actually drive and you can actually get to the red line. I know it doesn't sound crazy because you're probably used on my channel to hearing supercars and ridiculously noisy things with V12s, not small engines like you find in a mini JCW. But it's, it's the whole driving package that just makes it a fun experience. Oh no, actually, let's go straight on here. They're just, I mean, <laughs> these cars, yes, they've grown, especially when you consider my X Classic Mini. It's not anything like that in terms of a Mini, but as a small hatchback, as a car to use and, and drive around, it no longer has, I guess, a problem with doing long journeys, with being un uncomfortable. And I think that, Adding even more customization is always fun. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of that. So I don't see, you know, why not? Why not go down this route and go to go for one of these and create an icon too? <laughs> those crackles. Not sure how much of those you hear. Pop, 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 pop. Solid. That is kind of entertaining. I think it's about with a car finding what's fun about it. You know, here, little chicane. That is just perfect in this thing because it's so small and easy to position and plant through a little twisty bit of road like that. <laughs> I like finding the positives in a car and I like driving small little powerful hatches. I just think they're entertaining. And you know, that's, that's what I like about driving. The smile on the face, whatever it is, wherever you are, right car for the environment, the day, the occasion. <laughs> There's definitely an element of a torque steer. That's my one, I suppose, complaint and thing if I had to about the car, but let's park up now. Definitely fun, no question about that. Quite a lot of torque steer naturally, stock differential, the mapping for the extra power. It also has a new intercooler, by the way, so a much, much larger than standard intercooler inside here that you can't really see that much of right now obviously for cooling and keeping it running but let's leave the car for the moment leave the icon 2 and have a quick look inside the showroom which is a lovely and very cool building uh, big big fan of this kind of setup so if we head inside you can see a couple of cars in here to take a look at just upstairs at the moment e46 Team Sherma E92 M3 that we've seen some of at Apex and at the Nürburgring. Then we have Icon 1 Project 12, so based on the McLaren 12C. But this was a bespoke car for a customer. You can see a couple of visual changes, the front bumper, the side skirts, new wheels. And then on the inside, it's been upgraded to more of a track specification with the bucket seats, with the custom finish and almost the shape of the, the back of the P1 actually on there. Um, Project 12 embroidered on the headrest area and also the 12 badging on the, on the front bonnet is quite nice too. So that was Icon 1 before the birth of the Icon 2 project. And then it would obviously be wrong not to mention the fact that there is a lovely 918 Spider sat right there inside the showroom too. Oh, look at those exhaust pipes quad pipes on the McLaren. Well, this is a really, really nice place. Cool chill out area, car stuff. Everybody loves that in the bar. Enter the world downstairs and look at this. Open the uh, doors. A number of cars in storage here. 
in this room and some very, very nice cars at that as well. Look at the colours, we're surrounded completely by Skittles right here. That is a very strong LT Spider, very strong LT Coupe with the Roost Scoop as well. And then sandwich here between two GT3 RSs. Which is always nice. And a Hurricane LP580 at the back, a Z8 in the corner. M Coupe, I'm sure some of you guys like those a lot. This is sort of a bit of storage, a bit of eye candy. A workshop at the end for detailing and protection film stuff. Nice. And then up through there is the workshop where the icons are built. Well, that is a cool showroom, but let's have some final thoughts and a last look at the Icon 2, at the car. And like I said, the first time I drove a JCW, I really enjoyed it. And I think this has a different character, but overall the same kind of effect. Clearly more power, there are extra things that could be developed, a new diff, a new louder exhaust system, and I'm sure the guys are considering that for the future. But when you consider the price tag and how this car is all in for 36,000 pounds plus other factory options should you want them, that's where you have to think and give it credit for how entertaining it is without massively having to stretch the budget to get there. So I commend them for that. I definitely enjoyed the drive. It really is the pocket rocket like the JCW on the next level with 280 horsepower. Anyway, thanks again to Mulgari for the opportunity to come down, check out the Icon 2. I'm sure you can find out more information down in the description box if you'd like to know more about the car. But that's it for now. I've enjoyed today's test drive. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So make sure you click subscribe, hit the bell to follow the latest updates, and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.